What is happening guys, Mike here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be talking all about pre-styling and a while back, if you remember, it's been a while though, but if you remember, I did a video on pre-styling, kind of what it is, how to do it, kind of an intro to pre-styling, if you will. And now today I want to take the next step with it and we're going to talk about three reasons I pre-style and the techniques I'm using to achieve those styling goals. Now the three reasons that I pre-style these days are pretty simple. The first is health and nourishment. This is isn't technically pre-styling per se, because I, it doesn't really have anything to do with styling, but I do this because it gives me a couple of things. The first being really healthy hair, and the second being it gives me really soft hair, which also comes into play later with styling, you know, when it comes to applying stuff and, you know, being, keeping your hair pliable, and it just makes styling a lot easier. That's how I do it. And as far as products goes and what I use, I have my own tonic that I've talked about many, many times here on the channel. So I'm not gonna go too deep into it. If you know, you know kind of situation. I use mine pretty much every day. For the sake of fairness too though, let me share with you a couple of other tonics that are fantastic as well. Cloud Control by Bloomon is a great choice and it works really well with the other products that we're about to talk about here. Templeton Tonics is another really good one and is widely seen as one of the best on the market these days. Arcadian, it's another great brand that makes a really awesome grooming oil as well and finally the 25 spray from the salon guy that's another fantastic choice to keep your hair looking and feeling awesome now though for reasons two and three this has to do with the actual style and desired outcome you see lately i have found myself wanting to go one of two ways when i pre-style hold or texture and this means that i'm choosing my products for pre-styling for either added hold and hold alone or added volume and texture. To be fair, there is a little bit of hold there too when it comes to the, the volume and texture ones. You know, there is a little bit of hold that goes on there too, but mainly this is what I think about when I'm making my pre-styling choices. Now, do I pre-style every time I style? Every single time I style? No, I don't do that, but I do it often. And when I do, this is how I do it. And it all starts with this choice. Do I want extra hold or do I want volume and texture? And when I'm making this choice, I'm also keeping in mind my post style and what I want my end result to be. Now, in regards to post stylers, it really only matters to me, honestly, in cases where I want higher volume and more texture because when I want that to be my goal, I'm not wanting to post style with something that will weigh it down and, you know, basically take all that volume and texture that I added in the pre-styling section and just bring it down, weigh it down, get rid of all that. I want to keep that from the pre-styling section, right? So that that's really when I put the most thought into my post styler, when it comes to the hold, I'm pretty much just post styling for additional hold, if that makes sense. So there's not as much thought going into that one as the volume and texture option. I hope that makes sense. Now though, let's circle back to our two choices here, because that's what we're going to mainly focus on today. Hold and texture. For hold, there's a bunch of products out there that you can choose from. There's a bunch. We really don't have time to go through all of them, but for hold specifically, I prefer stuff that's got good hold, obviously, but a natural or matte finish. I usually don't like to pre-style with stuff that has shine, you know, shine, a lot of shine to it, or even a little bit of shine to it, because it tends to make my hair look and feel thinner. There are, of course, exceptions to that. Sometimes I have found stuff that has a little shine and, and works really well as a pre-styler, but usually that's the rule that I go off of. Of course, a prime example of an excellent pre-styler is Original by Bloomon. This is just a fantastic pre-styler. It does exactly what I need it to. It's got a great helping of hold. And of course, it's super lightweight in the hair. So you can even get a little volume out of it too. Most of all, it's one of those products that works with so many post stylers. You can use it with clays, waxes, pomades, all kinds of things. It's It just works so well with so many things. It's unbelievable. But how I use it personally for added hold is really easy. This is super simple. This is what I do. I start with damp hair, freshly cleaned actually. And as I've said, I've already added in my tonic and I will hit the pause button right there. I'm pausing right here because I am asked all the time, do you mix the tonic with the product? How do you apply the tonic? Do you do it before? Do you do it after? What do I do? The answer for me is actually super simple. I do not like to cocktail stuff like tonics and products, meaning you put the product in your hand and then you put the drops of tonic in your hand and you mix them together and you apply them in your hair. I don't like to do that. I feel like it just throws things off a little bit and you're messing with the, the formula of the actual product and all that it just it just comes out weird for me so i don't like to do that i'm not gonna say though that you absolutely can't because i am a firm believer of people doing whatever works for them and if you try it and it works for you fantastic keep doing it but for me i 
I, I prefer to just put the tonic in first, work it all the way in, give it a few seconds to absorb while I run the excess tonic through my beard or something like that, which also makes the beard feel great, by the way, gives it a little love there. I let that work in and then I start the pre-styler, which is where we are at here. So let's hit play again and keep going with this. Now for the scoop, I use a modest scoop. I want to get a good helping of hold there. So I use a good scoop here and I run it through my hair and make sure it's all worked in. From here, I'm going to blow dry, of course, high heat, full blast. I'm going to get things as dry as quickly as possible. And while it's drying, I am using my favorite comb here, the Bivalane comb, and I'm combing my hair in the direction I'm planning on styling it. And there is a method to this madness. I'm actually helping to straighten out a slight wave that I have in my hair, and I'm helping the product begin to set that style as it's being activated by the heat. This is literally all I do when extra hold is my goal. And here we have the result that I get with this method. It's now ready to be paired with a multitude of different products. Now though, let's talk volume and texture. This is a fun, different option for me because I get bored of doing the same exact thing day in, day out. You know, sometimes I just wanna change it up or sometimes I come across a product that's just really awesome at volume and texture, but it needs a little help with the whole department and I wanna give that a go for sure and this is a good way to make those products work for you. Of course, on the other side, there are pre-stylers that are just fantastic in all three departments, you know, hold, texture, and volume. There are quite a few products that check all those boxes boxes for me and one of those is Blackwater from Flagship which actually combines again hold texture volume matte finish I mean it's got everything built into one but for today's video I did want to go with one to demo that is really focused on volume and texture not as much in the hold department I wanted to give you guys a little different viewpoint so I did go with hybrid by Bluemon this one here is I think one that a lot of you have been turned on to as a pre styler it was actually marketed as a post styler when it came out but slowly a lot of you guys are starting to find that it's actually a really awesome pre-styler and this is why I wanted to use it in this demo because it's actually got these awesome pre-styling qualities that work really well in this capacity so how I do this one now is really similar to the last demo I once again start with my tonic on freshly washed hair I then add in a good size scoop of the hybrid and I work it all the way in before starting with the blow dryer this time though I will start with the comb just like we did last time but instead of doing this the whole time I only do it for about a minute or so before dropping the comb and using just my fingers to give it a kind of tussle while it dries a bit. Then to encourage a little extra volume when it's about half dry, I actually bend over and blow dry up and I do this for the last bit of drying time until it's fully dry. This is a really awesome technique because you're actually using both gravity and the blow dryer to encourage a lot more volume. And here's the result that I get after doing that. You can see how much volume is in my hair. And just like the first demo, this too is ready to be paired with a multitude of different post stylers. Now here one more time is both outcomes for you guys to check out. One is dedicated to hold and the other is dedicated to volume and texture. The differences here I think are substantial. You can see both, you can see a lot of volume in the second one here. And I hope it's clear to you guys at home too so you can see why I do this in the way that I do it. I set myself up perfectly to post style to finish up the style. Now speaking of post styling, if you would like to see a dedicated video for this, just like we did here for the pre-styling, let me know in the comments comment section down below and I'll put one of those together for you let you know some of the different post stylers that I am using. Other than that, I do hope this helps you out with your styling routine or maybe answers some of your questions on pre-styling. Of course, you don't have to use the same products as me. I mean, this is just a recommendation from me and something that I used in the demo because this is stuff that I am personally using in my spare time when I'm not, you know, reviewing products and testing products. You know, if I'm going out or going to work or something, this is what I do and these are the type of things 
that I use. If you would though like to check out any of the products that I featured today, especially the Bluemon products, I will link them there in the description for you and I will have all available discount codes in the description. And I actually do that in all of my videos. If you check the description, I have all available discount codes there for you guys that are looking to save some money. If you did enjoy this video though, let me know by tapping that like button for me. And if you haven't yet done so, please consider subscribing to the channel. That is just a huge help to me. I really appreciate that. And it actually keeps you in the loop when new content is put out here on the channel. As always though, I will be back with you guys here again real soon. And until then, stay healthy, stay safe. I'll see you next time.